Happy holidays! Welcome to our aging puzzle. I am your host, Carlette DeVoe. Our show, this episode is going to be about the holiday season. We are so happy we're going into the holiday season and this is a fantastic time. Woo, yay! Remember, we are here to talk about aging and how it affects all of us. Doesn't matter if we're young, we're old, we're middle-aged, young. We want to share the joys of life and aging. We tend to laugh. We brought you stories that have made you cry. And we've brought you stories that have inspired you. That's what we're here for. We want to bring all of these stories to you so you will learn, you will hear, and you'll see what others out there in the world are going through. Because we want you to know that you are not the only one. There are others like you experiencing joys, happiness, sadness, tears, uncertainty, fear. We all go through it. And that's what the show is all about. We want you to know that you're not alone. So join us every week to listen to our stories that will move you to tears, move us all to tears and make you laugh, inspire you and give us all insights on, on a number of topics, just health problems and ways that we can live a healthier, longer life. So we look forward to sharing these inspiring stories and, and listening and learning and connecting with each other. Again, for today's show, we are going to spend our time discussing the holiday season and we want to extend a warm and festive welcome to you and encourage you to embrace the holiday season. We want to unlock the wonder, the joy, and the love of this season. Are you ready for the holiday theme events and activities to get you in the ultimate holiday spirit? Are you ready? Who knows? Well, I'm gonna tell you, you have holiday shows, you've got movie showings, you've got holiday parties, you've got delicious recipes, decorating, putting up the Christmas tree, searching for the perfect gift for that special someone, but most importantly, is spending time with loved ones. However you choose to celebrate, don't forget to make time for new traditions to magnify the magic and the beauty of the season. Every month, we normally have one show, one guest on our show, and that one guest walks us through their journey week after week. And remember what happens the first week, they talk to us about the diagnosis and how they found out the news of their story. The second week, they tell us what treatment options they were given by the doctors, their friends, etc. And the third week, they tell us what treatment they actually went through. And the fourth week, they tell us, you know what, how did they do? How are they doing now? And what are they doing differently? That's what the show is all about. Our show is different. One guest every month walking you through their journey. Today, it's just gonna be me, just walking you through some holiday tips so you can start the month of December and good holiday spirit and enjoy the season. We will have a guest next week and we will tell you what that guest is gonna be talking about, but you have to come and watch so you can hear all about my guest next week. So I encourage you to do that. So, as the holiday season brightens all of our days, it's essential to stay alert. I wanna spend one minute talking about something that is not pleasant, but it's a reality. Cyber criminals. Cyber criminals are out there and they're using scams and tricks to take advantage of you and me and others. Be watchful, be mindful, don't be distracted, don't be a target with online spending so much more than it has ever been. Email, email fraud, folks, has become more prevalent. As a matter of fact, a recent study found that over half of the top U.S. retailers in this country may not be doing enough to protect you, to protect us against fraudulent emails. So be careful. We encourage you to be vigilant about the emails. Don't open emails from people that you do not know. Doesn't matter how great it looks, doesn't matter how awesome the deal seems, 
Be cautious about opening emails from stores, especially with those unbelievable offers. Listen, they are out to get you. Cyber criminals are out there trying to get your stuff, trying for that you have to work for. So be careful. When there's peak shopping hours, be careful. You're going to get all kinds of offers dropping into your email, dropping into your email. Don't fall for it. Scammers send emails with fake store names, with offers trying to get you to give them information. And sometimes when you open an unknown email, they can hack and get into your computer and steal all of your information. Even as companies know and they work to improve email security, it's still essential for you to do your part, to be vigilant so you are not hacked or scammed or you do not become a victim of cyber criminals. So we want you to have a stressful and joyful shopping holiday experience, so be careful out there, okay? So our topic for this month is unlocking the wonder, the joy, and love of this season. That's why I'm wearing the hat. That's why I'm wearing the hat. That's why I'm buying the Christmas tree. We are unlocking the wonder, the joy, and love of this season. The holidays, offer a time of reflection for all of us and and a break from all of our crazy lives. I mean, we are running, running, running. We're doing a thousand things one time. This is a season to be fully present, fully present with your family and friends. I'm going to stop for a second here and I'm going to tell you, I want to explain what being in the present, what being fully present means, in my opinion. When you're sitting at a table and you have people at the table with you, Enjoy the time with them. Be present in that moment with them. Don't pick your phone up. Don't call a friend. Don't put a friend on FaceTime. Don't do that. Because whoever is supposed to be at that table is at the table. So enjoy your time with the people that you are with. Be fully present by engaging with your family and friends who are sitting at the table with you. That is valuable. That's how you build relationships. And we'd like to remind you to be fully immersed in the beauty and the abundance surrounding us. You cannot enjoy the beauty if you're not living in the present. So during this season of contemplation, benevolence, and all the great stuff that we were talking about, I want to encourage you to connect with your inner child and relish the simple act of being present with yourself and those around you. Beyond the gifts and the feasts, there's a world of possibilities, y'all. Listen, giving is amazing. It feels great during this holiday season. This is a season of giving, of gratitude, joy. Think about donating a toy. Think about volunteering. Do something different. Give. Holiday season, we spend time with family. Take your family and go and do something together, like volunteering or going to a toy drive, okay? It's gonna make you feel good, I promise. Oh, and another thing is, if you're feeling kind of crafty, why don't you gather some folks and go and do something together, like a DIY project, like, I don't know, build a shed in the backyard? Go and do an outdoor adventure? Just do something, something different, something fun. Why not? Now, as we approach the festive season, because we are at the beginning of December, let's take a quick look at a few beautiful traditions that's happening around us. Doesn't matter what tradition you have, it is to be respected. So I'm just gonna go through a few, not all of them, no disrespect intended, I'm just gonna go through a few of them. First up, we have Advent. Advent is a Christian tradition from both the Protestant and Roman Catholic branches, and it's a four-week period leading to Christmas, marking the beginning of the Christian year. Next, we have Hanukkah, a joyous celebration in Judaism. This feast of lights lasts about eight days, commemorating the rededication of the temple after a significant victory in 165 BCE. And on December 8th, we have the Feast of the Immaculate Conception in the Roman Catholic Christianity, 
celebrating the belief that Mary, mother of Jesus, was born without sin. And on December 12th, we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe and Roman Catholic tradition. Yes, and none other than December 25th. This is a significant day for multiple traditions. In Christianity, both Protestant and Roman Catholic branches celebrate Christmas, commemorating the birth of Jesus Christ. Additionally, the Orthodox Christian tradition observes the Feast of Nativity of Jesus Christ on the same day. And Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is an annual celebration of African-American culture from December 26th through the January 1st, culminating in a communal feast. It was created by an activist based on African harvest festival traditions from various parts of West and Southeast Africa. Kwanzaa was first established in 1966. So it doesn't matter what you celebrate this holiday season, enjoy the season, create traditions, continue your traditions, develop new ones. This is a time for wonder, joy, and love. So let your senses come alive, inhale the nostalgic sense of cherished family time, recipes, listening to the comfort, the cadence of a close friend's voice, witness the radiant glow of lights and decorations and savor the sweetness of candies and treats, and experience the serene stillness and fortitude of faith. The fortitude of faith. Enjoy yourself this holiday season. Now, I always talk about things that we can do to live longer and live better. And I wanna go through those things because whether we are in the holiday season or not, we still wanna live a healthy life so we can live longer and live better. To do this, we always recommend four things. One, proper diet. Oh boy, let me tell you, um, we're gonna eat a lot. But I'm going to tell you, as you're going through this holiday season, remember how much you eat. Suggestion. Maybe you want to put more protein and reduce the carbs that you put on your plate. And maybe you want to get a smaller plate and you want to give yourself smaller portions because proper diet is important. I know you're going to eat a lot this holiday season, but I'm only saying consider how much you eat, the portion sizes, and try to reduce your carbs. That's all I'm asking. And don't drink so much eggnog. It's full of sugar, okay? Number two, regular exercise. You're gonna have family over, you're gonna have friends over. Listen, remember I said earlier, you can go outdoors and do some outdoor exercise, some outdoor activity. Take your family for a walk. Just walk, enjoy the outdoors. It's cool. Get outside and do something. Make it a family outing to go outside and walk. Go to the park. Number three, reduce stress. You know, we're all going to be stressed because you're running around. You've got to go shopping. You've got to buy this. You have to do all these things. How do you reduce your stress? Get others involved. Get help from your family members. Divide and conquer. And maybe do yoga together. Because when you are sharing the, the responsibilities and also spending time doing yoga together, that's gonna help you reduce your stress. And the fourth one is socialization. Well, you're gonna have your family with you, so you better socialize with them. Talk to them, be in the moment, be present, sit at the table, talk and laugh. So four things to live longer, live better, proper diet, regular exercise, reduce stress and socialization. You got it all doing this holiday season. Y'all can do it. I know you can. Yes, because you know why you're gonna do it? Because you know it's important. And these things will have a positive effect on your life and your overall health and well-being. It's going to help you live longer and live better. Come on, you can do it. The wonder, joy, and love of this season. <laughs> this season, come on, embrace the joy of trying something different. Enjoying your family. Whether it's a heartwarming activity or a festive project, creating fresh bonds, or rediscovering the enchantment of the holidays, embrace this holiday season. Because wonder, joy, love, and family 
is what this season is all about. So let's unwrap meaningful traditions. Make your new, make new traditions. Make them uniquely yours. So get ready to infuse your holiday season with a sprinkle of something extraordinary. All I gotta say y'all is happy holidays from Our Aging Puzzle. We hope to see you next week and we hope that going into this new season, you embrace wonder, joy, and love. Happy holidays from Our Aging Puzzle. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining. Voila. I'm Kevin Harrington, an original shark from Shark Tank. DG Incorporated provides coaching services to help entrepreneurs open and grow assisted living facilities and build economic wealth. Visit their website to learn more.